a new Picard season three poster was released. But what secrets does it hold? Hey Trekkies, Christian Fox here with another video for you. Today, I want to go over the newly released Star Trek Picard Season 3 poster and discuss some of the secrets that I think it holds or possibly hints at. Let's get into it. When looking at the poster, the first thing that immediately stands out to me is the USS Titan A being chased by the villain ship. Now, we don't know much about the villain ship, but we do know a lot about the Titan A. And because it is being chased by the villain ship and it is featured so prominently, it suggests to me that this is going to be the hero ship of the series. All the action that's around a ship will be focused on the Titan A. And that's not surprising because it's been all the marketing material, all the uh, interviews that we've read and heard about, and of course it's been in all the trailers. So that's not really that surprising. But why I think this is so significant is because it means that the Enterprise F, as much as we all love the Enterprise F, will not be the center ship of the series and probably won't be that prominently featured. I think what we might get is we might get one of those situations where maybe the last two episodes of the season, there's going to be a really intense space battle. Things are going to go crazy. And then, of course, you're going to get the great line, Captain, there's another starship coming in. It's the Enterprise. And people are going to freak out. It's going to be Enterprise F and it's going to be glorious. But I don't think we're going to be able to spend as much time with Enterprise F just because the Titan A is, of course, the feature ship. And that's the one we're seeing on the poster. Of course, the main focus of the poster are the characters and not the ships. And so when looking at the characters, the first thing I see is Annika Hansen, aka Seven of Nine. And when we look at her uniform and look at her collar, we can see that she has three pips. And what that means is that she is now a full-fledged commander in Starfleet, which is pretty cool. Again, not surprising. We've seen it in the trailers. It was hinted at in season two of Picard, especially near the end. But it is really cool to see officially that, no, she is officially a member of Starfleet with three pips. And that is pretty cool because I love Seven of Nine, or rather, Annika Hansen. I'm still going to call her Seven of Nine by accident because that's kind of what I grew up with her as. But I love the character, and I think it's going to be really cool to see what she's like as Commander Hansen. That's a nice ring to it, I think. Now, outside of the things that we've already kind of know, the big thing that kind of was like, whoa, okay. Yeah, let's see where they're going is when it comes to Lore. Now, looking at Lore, we can see that he is wearing a Starfleet jacket, and it's, of course, a gold jacket. And to me, that either means two things. One, he is a full-fledged member of Starfleet, which I don't think is the case. Or two, which I think is more likely, that he is actually sort of a good guy. He's a friend of me kind of thing, where I think he's working with Starfleet on something. And maybe they're like, hey, we need you. And it's one of those situations where it's in his best interest to work with Starfleet, even though he's a bad guy, kind of like Captain Janeway in the Borg all the way back in Scorpion. Obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, it's not a guarantee, but I'm pretty sure that Lore is going to go Lore and betray everybody because he's Lore and that's kind of his shtick. And it would be weird to have Lore coming back one last time and to not have him be evil. Maybe there's a redemption story somewhere. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to be, he starts off as a good guy and then ultimately betrays the crew, even though I'm sure no one's going to be that shocked when Lore turns out to be doing something evil. And now the final thing I want to talk about is Worf's uniform. Now, back in that first character trailer that we got, we saw that Worf had four hips, which meant to me that he was actually going to be Captain Worf. And that's a thing that we've wanted for a very, very long time. But then looking at this poster, he's actually wearing Operations Gold. And it's kind of like, wait, what? Is he now back in operations? Is he no longer in the command division? Does that mean he's not going to be captaining anything? That's kind of weird, right? But then I remember we've actually seen people from the operations division in command positions. We had the evil Commodore O in Star Trek Picard Season 2. I don't know why I was blanking on it because that's what I'm talking about. And then we also had Admiral Todman back in DS9. So that, to me, suggests that, hey, you can still be in a command position even if your specialty is in operations. So it's very likely that we still will be able to get a Captain Worf of some kind. And I'm really hoping we'll get Captain Worf, who is Captain of the Defiant. But, you know, we haven't got any hints towards that. But Defiant has showed up previously last year in some newer Trek. So it's very possible but it's not a guarantee. And then, of course, before I go, I should also mention that I think Jordy's going to be a Commodore of some kind. 
based on what I've heard from from the novels, but I'm really not sure, but it'd be very cool if we got Commodore LaForge. But we'll have to wait and see. And I know Picard's right around the corner, but honestly, it can't get here soon enough. I am just so, so excited. 